Nice doggy. Guess he ain't housebroken. This game will give you great arcade gaming experiences. Binary Domain, 2012, Explored. There are many games with great ideas, unique concepts, and a lot of promise, but many don't make the cut due to a lack of funding, time, or skill. Over the years, we've seen far too many, if we have to name a few, then immediately games like Mindjacks, Damnations, and Dark Voids come to mind. And it's a touch disheartening. Binary Domain possessed all of the characteristics of one of these games. Early views of the game revealed washout visuals and bog-standard gameplay. It promised an engrossing plot that asked about issues on human emotion and featured innovative speech recognition technology. In a nutshell, it appeared to be the next Mindjack. Many great concepts, but horrible execution. On the contrary, Binary Domain actually looks fantastic, plays well, and is an excellent all-around game. Binary Domain could be the game for you if you're weary of killing aliens, zombies, or Russian terrorists. You won't really fire a shot at a single live thing in Sega's Future Squad shooter. Only waves upon waves of mechanical maniacs hell-bent on causing you and your species' destruction. The game takes place in a world where global warming has resulted in widespread floods, rendering most of the globe uninhabitable. As a result, the primary labor force was replaced by robots. One tough bastard. You gotta be kidding me! Futuristic Western Squad Shooter the year is 2080, and the location is set in Tokyo. One of the leading companies in robotics technology, the Amada Corporation, has begun developing humanoid robots that progressively integrate into the human population. Sergeant Dan Marshall, it's up to you and an interchangeable squad of foreign mercenaries to enter Amada and stop the android development before it's too late for humanity. The narrative takes a long time to get rolling, but there are a few fascinating twists and turns in the latter few hours of the game. From the shattered slums and sewers of Neo Tokyo's underworld to the sun-kissed skyline of the city's opulent upper reaches, the battle against Amada's sentient robots takes place in various Neo Tokyo locations. There are a few instances where you'll be forced to plod through dreary, crate-filled passageways, but for the most part, the game's creators have come up with unique settings to frame each action set piece in. Anyone who has played a cover-based shooter previously will be immediately familiar with Binary Domain's primary gameplay concepts. You can blind fire, roadie run, and jump from cover to cover. You're familiar with the procedure, right? The control setup is solid, aside from a noticeable difficulty to turn corners when undercover, and a minor weak melee assault. There are two more noteworthy aspects of Binary Domain's gameplay. One is the voice command mechanism for your squad members, which lets you wear a headset and issue simple commands like, cover me, and wait. It can even decipher a few simple curse phrases if you're prone to dropping the occasional F-bomb in between grenade throws. The game also has a connection system between you and your squad members, which is influenced by your battle actions and your replies to each chat. If you treat your squad well, they'll follow your instructions and provide advice on how to defeat certain opponent kinds. If you mistreat them, they'll be less useful in battle, rejecting your directions and attacking in a reactive manner. Players take on the role of Dan Marshall, who is accompanied by up to three additional teammates. While the AI companions are capable of fighting on their own, their efficiency is increased when Dan gives them specific instructions tailored to their abilities. As mentioned before, Rachel, for example, is a demolition specialist, so sending her into close quarter battle, where her shotgun is most potent, is an excellent decision. Meanwhile, Big Bo is an expert at deflecting enemy fire and allowing the rest of the team to flank. None of these strategies are very complicated, yet they may mean the difference between a stalemate and the complete humiliation of the adversary. Even though the voice instructions are rudimentary, 
and only work half of the time, Binary Domain intelligently refuses to depend only on the gimmick. You can play the game without a headset by utilizing contextual commands from a menu. The AI companions are surprisingly effective at what they do. They are able to hold their own in combat and keep each other alive whether you're issuing orders or letting them fight freely. It would have been so simple for Yakuza Studio to rely on voice input as a crutch while ignoring the rest of the game. In contrast, Binary Domain prioritized being a fantastic shooter first and a tech demo second. It's an unusual attitude these days, but one that's greatly appreciated. Amazing! I'm shocked, really. Marvelous Gamers Review Binary Domain isn't a pioneer, but it's an excellent follower. This robot-carving romp maintains an exciting level of fast-paced action from beginning to end, making it perhaps the most significant effort at Western shooter gameplay from a Japanese studio. Instead of focusing on pure mechanical confrontation with some stunningly conceived artificial adversaries, the game doesn't rely on them to function. While the voice commands are hit or miss, they're entertaining to use. All of this is wrapped up in a one-of-a-kind narrative that is so sure of itself that you scarcely notice how ridiculous it is. In conclusion, it's a game that avoids the pitfalls that so many other games have, and it's definitely worth playing. If you like this video, do drop in a like and share it with your friends and family. In the comments, let us know which other games you want us to talk about. See you in the next one. <laughs> Son of a bitch is trying to escape! There's no way to hit the run, so they finish off the...